Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So for those of you that are just tuning in for the first time, my name is Hannah Quintero and I'm a Christian artist. And um, today's going to be a little different with my art vlog. Usually, I usually post time-lapse videos and kind of just little behind the scenes things. This one's going to be a little different sense and I was just going to be kind of just going over some different wins or I call them little wins that have happened throughout the month of July and just the past couple months actually. And it's kind of just a way, just reaching out and just showing um, my appreciation. And also, and it's also to, just to kind of let you all know that for those of you that are not aware, I have a Ko-Fi shop at some, um, kind of like my mini website at the moment. Um, that's where I have my piece, it's original things, art prints, hand books, everything that I have for sale. And I'll have all my links in the description box with all of those for y'all to kind of look at. So for today, what it's going to be kind of about is just to just want to praise most and for first and foremost, anything else, just because praise God, because without, without him making it possible, I would not even have a YouTube page or even other social media handles to um, post all my art pieces and actually just continue on and continue forth with my art journey and building up my art career right now at the moment. So just praise God for that, just for making it possible. And that's this thing. And of course, there's also a lot of to be grateful for in my little art business, as I like to say. So one of the biggest things too is to, for those of you that have been following along in my art journey, or for those of you that are just kind of just browsing and just kind of tinkering past and just looking briefly, even then, I just want to just give a big thank you that it's even little support, everything just adds up and it means a lot. Um, especially even if it's like, like I say, like my friends and family, my husband, everybody that's been there and just very supportive and just looking through all my pieces, um, giving words of encouragement, leaving comments, or for those of you that have bought my pieces, it's just, it means a lot. And it's just, and just everything is just very, very motivational. And it's a, leaves, it gives me a lot of encouragement too. I really appreciate that, especially because I don't really verbal, I don't really talk about it that much, but it really does mean a lot. And one of the biggest things too, actually, that's ha that happened about actually a couple weeks ago is one of my original paintings, it actually just made its way to its new home in North Carolina just a couple, just like I said, a couple weeks ago. And um, the collector that um, bought the piece from me, she messaged me privately and she had mentioned that it was... Um, that the piece gave, she had resonated with her a lot and there was a very strong emotional connection to that. And for me as an artist, that's one of my biggest goals, especially because I, every piece that I create has an emotional significance and I incorporate a lot of biblical elements in my pieces. And also I write poetry as well. So there's some of my pieces will incorporate poetry and poetry that accompanies those pieces. So they go hand in hand with each other. And I bring her in a bunch of different elements, different themes. But each one, I really want one to resonate with everyone and tell a story. And of course, for everybody to just to sit back and kind of just observe it and think deeply what it may mean to them too. So again, usually when anybody, even if it's just a person just going through my booth or going through my websites and just kind of looking at my pieces and they feel some type of emotional connection, that's again, just one of my biggest goals. And it makes me so happy as an artist when, when people tell me. And also too, a dear friend of mine, just a couple weeks before that she had bought an art print actually from the, and it was an art print that was actually from the same piece. And that she had mentioned that it was, that it resonated with her deeply and that she loved it. And just each private message, even when a person just privately messages me and tells me it's, that's just thank, just a big blessing. And another thing to kind of add on to that too is just, um, and this was kind of a bit of an experiment on my part. I didn't really think much of it at the time because I usually, I'm very private poetry. I really don't post my poetry very often. The last couple, we kind of tinkered with the idea and I started incorporating my poetry out loud while my pieces in TikTok my TikTok channel. And um, one of the pieces actually, and again, I'll, 
um, it should be in my, it'll be in my link tree description and I'll have those links again. And um, I read that piece and actually it was very interesting. I didn't, like I said, I didn't think much of it. It actually kind of went sort of, I don't can't really say it went viral, but it, it gained a decent amount of traction and it was a big surprise. And the only thing, one thing I just hope is just is that I hope it just resonated and moved for though for and that's see video or if you'll see it later that hopefully it'll, it'll move you emotionally and you'll feel deeply once you once you listen to it and it'll make a difference because that's again my poetry is the exact same way as how I see with my art it's a piece of myself that I leave in each piece every one is very personable and it's a lot of times it's almost like the entries they're parts and bits and pieces of my life that I impart in those and Another thing that was actually really nice too is just in I made like an investment to myself and I wrote, um, or actually no, I didn't write. Wish I did. I'll probably maybe publish some po poetry later on. That's kind of a night. That's an idea. That's another goal later down the road. But um, one of my biggest, I'm like a little investment that I made to myself is purchase some books and they're actually business books and I have to read all out because they're kind of long. But it's um, the Rogue Artist um, making art and making money guide and the rogue artist art marketing guide. And they have an accompanying book, which is the marketing and money journal. So what's really interesting about the artist that actually wrote those books, it's, his name is Rafi Perez and him and his wife, actually, they have a YouTube channel and their art is actually very amazing. Just the inspiration behind their piece is very inspiring. They have a, a very positive view and empowering the message have in each of their pieces and just entirely and I admire that especially in artists especially in the day and time we're in every little positive thing we need that right now so that's it's very very interesting and the books that wrote kind of goes over in a bit more detail of of how like go how to be creative as an artist like basically just shouting you on it's been all our strengths Put them all out there and, and continue on. Be innovative in our art careers. Just basically combining art and life as an artist in general. So, and if you've never really, if you've never heard of those books, I would suggest kind of looking them up and reading them. They're very, very inspiring. Whether you're a seasoned artist or a baby artist like myself, I call myself a baby artist. My journey is still very new. I'm still very new in putting myself out there and selling my pieces. And just the audience, my audience, I still consider it very, very small, right? Um, most artists that you see out there, they've been at it for a long time. So their audience are, audiences are pretty huge. And I'm getting there. Again, it's like everything is slow and steady, slow and steady. But I'm grow it'll God willing, and I'm, I have faith that it will. And the thing too, just, I guess one of my big reliefs too, and this is just bonus, I like to say. And that's because I'm a new mommy. I have a six month old baby. So it's just right now my biggest challenge is another, another goal and challenge, I suppose. It's basically time management. And it's just basically I've the past few months just trying to figure out a happy medium. To, and I've learned to kind of just balance out and balance out creative time studio from and taking care of my house duties as a mother. And as a wife, just taking care of everything that I have to do and playing with baby and taking time for him. And it's just right now, it's just like I've learned to just put it down and take time in the studio during nap times. So during nap times, that's when that's this time that whether it's during nap times or even at night when he's finally asleep. So hopefully that'll that'll come forth. And even later on, as he gets older, too, it'll get a lot better. But yes, praise God, those are some big wins. And again, I just want to thank you all for tuning in and thank you for all your support and your encouragement. And I just want to say, may God bless each and every one of you. Have a good day.